Our soils are a dynamic resource that have developed over decades, centuries or even millennia. Because of this, our soils may contain evidence of not only past environments, but also a cultural record that provides evidence of past human activity and events. This isn't just a handful of soil, it's a time capsule. And if we know how to read it, we can look back into our past. I'm Claire Wilson, a lecturer in Geoarchaeology at Stirling University, and I'm going to show you why this cultural archive is so important. Virtually all of our day-to-day -day activities have the potential to impact on our environment and our soils. Take agriculture for example. For more than 10,000 years we have manipulated the physical and chemical properties of agricultural soils. Whilst some of these alterations are ephemeral, others such as changes in phosphate concentration may persist in the soil for centuries or even millennia. Industry is another way we impact on our soil. We know that industrial pollutants can leave a detrimental legacy in our soils. However, these same contaminants can also provide a record of our industrial past. And then there's our waste. Even the rubbish from our domestic lives can leave its signature within the soil. If we can read the cultural traces in our soil, they may shed light not only on our past, but also on our future. We can read the cultural archive in soils in a number of different ways, starting at the landscape scale. Humans may physically remodel landscapes, for example by mining or construction, whilst agriculture and deforestation can destabilise landscapes, resulting in increased erosion. And in this way, past human activities have left their mark on our landscapes today. You can also see the influence of humans in the soil profile. Take this field which was once ridge and furrow. In this soil profile we can see how the agricultural ridge has been deepened, changing the horizon depth and improving the growing conditions. And if we now take a sample back to the lab, we can learn even more. These thin sections are made from resin impregnated blocks of soil and their microscopic examination allows us to identify artefacts such as bone, charcoal and pottery in the soil that provide information about past land management practices and people's everyday lives. They also tell us about the sequence of processes that have formed these soils. But reading the cultural history from our soils doesn't just have to be about what has happened, but also what could happen. The cultural records in our soils not only tell us about our past, they can also illustrate the impacts of our own actions both now and in the future. For example, this soil contains high quantities of charcoal, presumably added through manuring. And by studying this, we can understand the long-term fate of charred material, which may influence how we use biochar in the future. The knowledge gained from the soil archive can also shape future land management. Today this area is used only for grazing, but the remains of farms and field systems like these demonstrate that previously this land was cultivated. 300 years ago it would have been planted with oats and barley. Therefore soils like these hold important lessons about sustainable land management and degradation, and there's much that we can learn from them, but only if we protect them. The cultural value of many of our soils is under threat by land use change for commercial forestry, construction or agriculture, or even by a lack of management that allows scrub and bracken encroachment. But perhaps the greatest threat is our lack of awareness of the value of these soils. And as soil scientists, it's up to us to learn more about them and to share what we learn with policymakers, landowners and the public. It is important that we continue to tell the stories which are held within these soils. 
as the decisions we make today about their management will determine the cultural legacies that we pass on to our children. Thank you.